Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from the upcoming exhibit at the Gilded Pear Gallery. Lauren Tucci, gallery manager, is back. Lauren, hi. Hi, Dennis. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. And Julia Kotal, who is uh, one of the artists being featured in a solo show beginning this Friday. Julia, good to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. Uh, before we uh, talk specifically about what you got going on, uh, Julia, I know we've got, you know, it's a solo show, but we've got two artists who are doing shows. So, mm-hmm. and the other one is kind of a... Kind of a Cedar Rapids, you know, nothing against Julia, oh, but Anne Royer, <laughs> Anne Royer, kind of a legend in the art world mm-hmm. here locally. Yeah, so Anne's on the uh, on the main level, and so uh, we have two solo shows going simultaneously. Um, the reception will be for both uh, uh, exhibiting artists, um, but uh, the uh, the show in the main floor is a curated exhibition with new works mm. um, paired with past pieces, so... Um, I uh, encourage everybody to read a little bit about the show. It's actually quite nice. We worked really hard on it. Um, and then, um, let's see. I think that's it for for that yeah. for now. I, you know, it's it seems silly to say this in in a community that produced uh, Grant Wood and Marvin Cohn. But when I think of you know you know when I think of artists you know kind of alive in my time mm-hmm. and you know kind of the first ones I really became aware of as oh my gosh you could do that you you can do that here you know yeah. Anne was the person that you know was a person whose art I saw because oh. the time she had a sculpture downtown but you know when that was not a thing mm-hmm. and uh, and she has been she's been on your roster ever since you opened the gallery right yep yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, a lot of people in town might not re- realize that a lot of the sculptures that you see in the downtown area are Anne's. Um, yeah. So she has a, a very wide array of, of style of work. So, Julia, not to make you oh. not to make you play second. No, fiddle it's OK. All. She is my icon. Also. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's right. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that when I you came to wanted town. to came yeah. to town and, uh, you know, seeing. You know, here is a person doing right. visual art that is out in the community and is for sale in galleries. You probably thought, oh, maybe I didn't move to Hooterville <laughs> after all. I remember seeing her horses series yeah. at the the other, the Red Gallery, the house, the, um, on the gallery on the corner, remember? The corner, the corner house? house. Oh, corner oh, house, yeah. yeah. That they carried a lot of her things there. That's the first I saw. Yeah. yeah she's so, a, I but anyway, <laughs> I got, uh, about uh, yeah, let's talk about your art Thanks. since you've got a solo <laughs> show and that's why you're here. Um, uh, you, you know, so tell me a little bit about, uh, the history of your work. Well, I'm, uh, consider myself a landscape artist, um, abstract in a weird way. And I use oil paints. I, um, and a, and a painting knife, a palette knife. So I don't use a brush. Um, I, it's a pretty out there (laughs) expression of landscape, uh, work. The exhibit is called The Idea of Color. So mm-hmm. tell me how you came, you know, you, you figure, you got to that. Right. Um, you know, a, several years ago, uh, my sister, who's incredibly creative, is a quilter. And she's uh, older than I am, but she has a, a massive understanding of color in her quilts. And so I've kind of grown up with that a lot, you know, as a side thought, you know, as a, something that's kind of always back there. And of course, my uh, love of stained glass is is wonderful. Visiting, traveling, you know, I'm always in those cathedrals. I don't think my work really reflects those two, but they're always back there. The idea of color is how it lays out on the canvas to me. So it's curious. In kind of in conjunction of that, I think, you know, when I think about, you know, about, well, about oil painting mm-hmm. in particular, but, you know, you talk specifically about color, I think about, I think about the light. Yeah. And how the light effects when you're doing your work. So in your studio, <laughs> um, you know, tell me about, yeah. you know, do you have, do you, you work in an area where there's a lot of natural right. light? How oh, do you yeah. do that? Uh, yeah, my we live in an old house in 1912 or something of that sort. And it is a, uh, my studio is the original outdoor sleeping porch upstairs. Oh, so perfect. So it goes south, you know, it faces south. Sometimes it's too much light, really. Um, it there can be a thing kind of glares, but the light is perfect. Yes, and it does affect the colors. You know, I often look at colors and I go, "Oh wow, it's too much," because of the light. And then when I take it out to another room or something, it's just like perfect. It's it is a fascinating, isn't it? How, yeah, how it changes how it can be affected. 
Well, and Lauren, that leads me to my next question for you. Mm -hmm. And now, of course, the gallery has a lot of natural light, mm -hmm. but I, as the person who is figuring out where to hang these in <laughs> such a way that they look exactly right, and you don't have perfect light in all areas mm -hmm. of the gallery. So is that a challenge? Uh, actually, for with Julia's work, not much. It's not really a challenge at all. Um, everything went up very easily. Um, and I think it's just because the way the work has been made and rendered, uh, each piece falls into the next very effortlessly. Um, there's a really uh, approachable um, thought line that exists between each set of pieces. So um, the second floor gallery is kind of divided into three spaces. Um, two, two walls are white walls, and then one is a curved gray wall. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the darker pieces are on this gray wall. And so there's this moodiness that happens inherently with the work and then also lending itself with that particular wall um but the watercolors the oils um they were all very easy to display because a lot of those color explorations that she's making are in both sets so it was really fun for me to collect each each kind and see which ones were birthed out of the other if that makes sense so uh, have, have you seen I have it, so okay so now I'm very happy I, I, it, does it do you see your art in a different way when you see how somebody else yeah. uh, arranges it to kind of tell the story yeah I love it because you know it's how I she actually understands how that progression works you know everything each piece is a springboard from another so and Lauren absolutely gets that but she can also change it up and I go oh okay that works. You know, I, I, I enjoy that process. And uh, it is, I hope, I think it is most artists do that. They, you know, go from one set to the next. And that's how your work does evolve. And it, the gallery does a great job of, of hanging it. The watercolors are challenging. I mean, really, watercolors. But uh, that they're, they're their own, own set of rules. And so to display those correctly in a gallery is just uh, a challenge. And they, they do an excellent job of it. So, yeah. The Idea of Color is uh, Julia's new exhibit at uh, the Gilded Pear Gallery, and uh, the public can see it. Everybody can come and hang out with the Julia and with Anne at a reception coming up this week. Yeah, this Friday, March 15th, from 4.30 till 7.30 uh, is the reception. Both artists will be here. Thank you. And uh, the show does run until May 11th, if you can't make it. Okay, and uh, we should also mention all the pieces are for sale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, you know, I've all, as I, as I said, been a fan of Anne's for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Julie, I've always enjoyed your art, too. So Thank getting you. to see so many pieces in one place will Thank be you. a real treat. So, again, the reception is coming up on Friday of this week, the 15th at the gallery. And people can visit your website or Facebook page if they'd like to see some examples and get more information. Absolutely, yes. And if you can't make it, you can buy the artwork from our website as well. Which is? GildedPearGallery.com. All right. Excellent. Well, uh, enjoy. Uh, enjoy, in, you know, in, enjoy seeing your work <laughs> up there and celebrate it, Julie. And uh, Lauren, as always, thanks for being here. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you. You can hear The Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 1030 or download the podcast. Uh, at kcck.org slash culture. You can also watch a video version on our Facebook or YouTube channels. Our video producer is Lydia Kilgore. I'm Dennis Green. I'll talk to you later.